The brutal heat wave smothering about half of the nation affects people and animals alike, but some animals are better equipped to handle the heat than others. Here with four exotic animals who stay cool in some very unusual ways, is zoologist Jared Miller, the host of the syndicated show Animal Exploration with Jared Miller. Jared, thanks for coming in. Good morning, hey, good morning Russell. Good to good see morning. you. Hey, Rebecca. How are you? Animals for us. Let's begin with this guy here. Well, he's he a black-throated monitor lizard. It is, and this okay. is a beautiful example. It's a predatory reptile. Um, you know, monitor lizards are great. I mean, they're, again, one of the most... Uh, you know, when it comes to animals beating the heat, uh -huh. there's one common thread with all the animals we're going to meet, and it's thermoregulation. It's how they can control their own body heat. Reptiles okay. like this monitor, cold-blooded animals, so you figure they need to be warm. Right. Monitor lizards are found mainly in Africa, Asia, and they need to be near the equator. The hotter, the better for these guys because, you know, their body temperature is dependent on the ambient temperature. But they can get too hot, too, so they need to know how to cool themselves down. And a lizard like this, they do two things. They bask to heat up, you uh -huh. know, when it's mm -hmm. sun out, they, you see alligators, you see snakes, yeah. even, even, in our, even here in New York, you'll see reptiles out in the sun. But then, it's cool, they have to expel that body heat too, so they do what's called gaping. And, if this, and a lot of people think the reptile is gonna bite if you right. see an alligator or a monitor with his mouth open. I would think that. All he's doing is, he's <laughs> full of hot air. He's just releasing uh -huh. hot air. So, okay. uh -huh. so they gape open their mouth, but again, this is a beautiful example of a, a really prehistoric animal that has known how to beat the heat for millions of years. Highly predatory, you said. Highly predatory. <laughs> These guys are so smart, they'll, you know, they, they look for movement and sounds, and they really, um, they're voracious feeders, that's for Rebecca's sure. Rebecca's over here, I guess. Yeah, exactly. I know. Let's get the next animal. All right, sounds good. But again, this black is a turbine. fox coming out? Oh. Is that the case? Oh, my God. You're going to love this. There you go, Mike. Thank you. <laughs> I think I can get on board with a fox. Oh, yeah. This is a little this more than the predator. Look at wow. this. Thank you, Michelle. He's so cute. Look how beautiful. The, this is my favorite hot weather animal. This is a fennec fox. This is a fennec fox, the smallest wild fox or the smallest wild canine in the world. I mean, look at these ears. Aren't those incredible? They're yeah. huge. They're huge. I mean, it's like, this is an animal that is perfectly adapted for beating the heat. They're native to Sahara Desert in Africa, and this guy has so many adaptations to beat the heat, mm -hmm. there's more than you can count. The ears are big. They act as radiators. Huh. So the bigger, like an elephant, the bigger your surface area, little capillaries through here help release the heat. So being a warm, you know, a warm-blooded, you know, furry animal, he, you know, he needs to beat the heat even more so than others. My favorite are his little uh, oven Mitts. Look at oh, on the bottom oh, of his feet. Here, tuck, here give him a high five, Rebecca. High five. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, hey, high one. High one. Yeah, but good. look at this. This little fox has fur. I mean, imagine if we had fur on the on our hands mm -hmm. and feet. I mean, it'd be bizarre. But this fox, they have built an oven mitt. So he's running across the desert sand, 100 degrees. Yeah. He's perfectly protected. Excellent. excellent. And look at this color. Reflects the heat. You know, this guy will blend right. into the desert. Plus, they hunt at night. And this, you know what this guy eats? Hmm. His favorite food are the most venomous animals in the world. He'll eat a scorpion. Wow. Bites the tail off first uh. and then goes goes to town. You have an owl. Owl sitting in the uh, you love owls, don't you, Rebecca? We, we, Chip, we have, I have the video, a long we have the video with owls. of the owl. Last time we had an owl here on the show. What happened to Rebecca? <laughs> this is the last time. Please don't make it fly out. Oh my god. <laughs> Hey, let's see if we can recreate that. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, Tell us at, about this guy. Now, today. look at this. Now, Andy here is holding the largest out. This is the I'm largest, come most. On this side. Yeah, Rebecca, <laughs> it's wherever you're most comfortable. But I like this it over is here. a beautiful eagle owl native to Africa, Asia, Europe. But look at that guy. He's and, looking at wow. me. And birds, believe it or not, have to thermoregulate as well. And birds, you know, you think about, they can fly. So the best way that a bird can beat the heat is they'll just rise above the heat. They'll just fly up above where it's, you know, a little bit cooler up top. Mm -hmm. Also, too, owls, especially, like this eagle owl, they'll start fluttering their throat, and very similar to the, to the monitor lizard, they, they're full of hot air, so they'll actually release it through their beak and kind of help moisturize, get rid of some of that moisture and some of that heat right out of their mouth. And okay. lastly, we have a lion. We've got a lion. Wait, you see this guy. He's a little one, four months old. Four months old, but, but literally. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh oh, Rebecca, are you all right? <laughs> yes. That, you have a I'm just fine. I'm just fine. Where's my best location? Wow, look, look at this, this guy. Now, oh I love lions, and again, you know, every time I go to Africa, and Africa is, you know, when it comes to heat, that's one mm -hmm. of the most formidable temperatures that you're dealing with. This lion here, they have the best way of thermoregulation in beating the heat, and that's simply just falling asleep. Lions hmm. sleep more than pretty much any other animal in the wow. world. And at four months old, look at this guy. He's all full of, like, he wants to play. He's Actually, at this age, he's even starting to learn how to hunt. So if we want to participate <laughs> with good him, to know. help him in the training process. Is it okay to let him chew your hand like that? No, it's not okay. <laughs> no. In fact, Rebecca, it's a lion, Rebecca. It's like, you know, this isn't a puppy. But this little lion cub, again, you know, once he gets, he, when he's full grown, he'll be 600 pounds, have a big, beautiful mane. And this guy mm. will pretty much sleep 20 hours a day during the heat. He'll come up at nighttime, do a little hunting. Yeah. Actually, let the female lions, they live in the, they're very social, live in big prides, let the female Emails bring the food to what him. What a life. Oh, I know. Deal. He's the king of the jungle, guys. All right. The All right. African lion. The African lion. Isn't he beautiful, And though? the Jared Miller. Yeah. Fantastic stuff. Good Thanks for sharing him. All, All right. these animals Sounds with us good. today. Absolutely. You're welcome, A guys. safe segment. Exactly. We appreciate that. We love it. <laughs>